Hi, I'm Carly from Australia and you're watching Whiskers Review. Hey guys, welcome to Discus Review. Today I wanted to show you my 40 gallon breeder with an all-in-one filter system. Uh, right now there's some wild discus that I got from Santarum Discus Plus in Portugal. Uh, these five are quarantining. They're actually almost done with their quarantine. Uh, but let me show you the, this amazing setup. So this is a standard 40 gallon breeder and I painted the sides and the back white. Uh, and then if you look over here, I've got a Fiji cube. I got this on eBay. I think it was $149. It's an all-in-one filter. I painted the front of it white with flex seal. So waterproof, uh, rubber coating, flex seal, and um, let it cure for a couple of days, obviously, before I put it in the, in the tank and filled it with water. There's a little tiny bit of space on each side of it, about an eighth of an inch. Doesn't seem to be a problem, but let's look at the filter system. So intake is over here, all the way to the right. Uh, I stick a sponge and a sock. I'm all, I'm, I like to get as much filter media as possible. Um, and I clean that sponge out every week. Uh, filter sock picks up anything that I missed. I drop a couple of pieces of filter media in the bottom of the sock to keep it from bunching up. And then in the next chamber is floss, different kinds of floss, lots of filter media. And if you notice, there's a lot of room here. I can, I can pack it up even higher. So this is a, a significant amount of media. And then to the left, it flows into where my heater is and the pump. Uh, I probably could fit a UV light if I wanted to in here. Um, I, I haven't used any UV lights yet. Uh, the all-in-one filter is, is being held by this magnet. There's a magnet on each side. They also have clips that go uh, along the top nice plastic clips that you can screw on pretty tight. I just use the magnet for now. For my water changes, I turn the, uh, the filter system off and then uh, drain the tank about 50% um, and turn it back on after I fill it. So I don't let it run down. I don't let the, any of the water drain out of the filter system. But it works really, really well. This is a lot of, lot of flow and a lot of filter for this size tank, I believe. I angle mine up so it breaks the surface a little bit. I don't have... Um, a sponge filter in here for aeration, but I think the tank is aerating just fine this way. It breaks the surface just enough. And I stuck a small piece of pothos in there also, just for fun. I've been using more pothos lately, actually for the first time. So that's my 40 gallon breeder set up with an all-in-one Fiji cube. I hope you like it. I hope you check them out and try it. I, I've got a couple of these going and, and they're serving me very, very well, especially as quarantine tanks. So that's it for today. Thanks guys.